All right, next one we got here. All right, this is twins. Let me get to the wide shot. Now let's just play right here, okay? This is twins. Uh, we've got Exxon, a two-man snag game, all right? This is left to right, right to left progression, okay? He doesn't give a shit, okay? He's working right to left, left to right, okay? His protection is, his footwork is what we call a one piece, all right? We do not want to cross over on any of our gas stations or our snag game, all right? Because we don't know when this ball's going to come out. It could come out hot. It could come out to the snag. Hell, it could come, come back to the dig route, all right? So he uses a one piece, okay? This is footwork. Protection rip, uh, Liz hot, Liz flat. Protection is Liz flat, sorry. Um, footwork is one piece, all right? Um, does he have a hot? Yes, T to the flat is his hot, all right? Does he have any alert? Yes, he's got an alert. If he gets press man coverage right here, all right? I'm not a, I don't like the snag route. He doesn't like the snag route if this corner's pressed on this guy right there. And then all they do is fit the bag, the back right there. So right now his alert is one free, X is pressed. Right now I can work my, go right back right now and work my dagger concept. That's his alert. So he should be right to left. So he's looking at his narrow vision guy. Narrow vision guy here happens to be the buck. Okay, Buck drops back. This if he if this ball came right to the back right now, he's out. We've out leveraged the buck with the back. All right, the back should not stop like this. He should stay on the move. He could he should throw this ball to the back. All right, he saw the guy go past the snag. All right, as soon as the receiver crosses the backer's face or he crosses my face, I should pop my eyes to the quarterback. As soon as I pop my eyes. I'm telling you, I'm open. <coughs> All right, this is obviously drop eight. So this is, this is got to have a little patience. You might get to your third progression on drop eight. All right, so he's pure progression, one to two to three to four. All right, he widens for the back, first prog second progression. He fits it. All right, the snag gets covered from inside. He's coming right back to the basic, all right? They're taking two to stop the basic. There's his trouble throw right there, number four, all right, the backside snag, all right? So I try. the hardest thing for these guys is, is their footwork needs to fit their progression, all right? So in other words, don't wait for guys to get open. Is he open? IHO, is he open? If he's not, move on, all right? Just keep moving on. Move your feet, move your eyes, keep, keep working your progression. Okay, that was two-man snag. Here's three-man snag, all right? So you gotta ask a quarterback, or what's the concept? Concept, concept Chevron flu. Same shit we called it 10 years ago when you were running this stuff, all right? Uh, it's Chevron, okay? He knows the protection, right? It's rip, hot swing. So it's rip swing, okay? Uh, knows his footwork is one piece. Does he have a hot? Yes, swing. Hot swing's my hot, all right? Does he have any alerts? Yes, he has an alert, all right? Just like an Exxon, he's got man alerts in your snag game, all right? His alert is corner or dig, your best man beaters. And what I tell them is, hey, this is all personnel based, right? <coughs> or leverage based, okay? You got two man routes there. You got a dig and you got a corner route, all right? Who do you like, all right? Man, I love, I love my F, I love if this is man coverage, this guy's got off inside leverage on man. Shoot, I love that corner route right there on this guy. Oh, hell, this guy's getting his ass pressed right there, okay? And this back weak side safety's off my dig route. Oh, shoot, I'm going to take the dig route, all right? All these other guys don't mean anything, right? Read your hot, and, and you, it's just one-on-one -on -one now, 
All right, your guy has to win and you got to complete it. Okay, it's, it doesn't matter. All right, <clears throat> pure, pure, the pure progression shit and all that. It's one on one, my guy and your guy, mano y mano. My guy's got to win, I got to complete it. Okay, his uh, narrow vision guy, right, is Nickel Sam, right here. Okay, this is a triangle progression read to him. Okay. So he knows he's got this working here. Okay, so there's his triangle. On the back side, he's got dig, I'm sorry, dig under, and there's his backside triangle, almost like a curl flat deal. Okay, I know there's too many lines there. Okay, so what he knows is this. If this guy runs past the snag, complete the snag. Okay, if he runs past the snag, complete the snag. Just like you would on curl flat, your choice route. All right. If Mike fits the snag, all right. Now you're going to work your backside, dig to under. Okay. This backside route is game planned. Okay. We want to game plan the. You could put curl flat back there if you're playing a big cover three team. You could put post dig, quarters beater. You could put whatever you want. All right. On the backside, that's usually game plan. But just the base way it goes in right now is. Dig under, all right. Swing corner. If this Nick, if my if my uh, let me get if my narrow vision guy, all right, fits the snag. Okay, now we know we are working our corner to our swing off of the corner, all right. Because two on one out there. So with him, he would have stopped on the snag, and he's giving depth this ball to come to the back right now. All right? So his eyes always work high to low. So he works one to two to three. Okay? On this one, the mic got – he didn't like the mic. All right? Remember, this is drop eight. Right? Mike got to it. Okay? He didn't want to throw it. So now, right now, all right, he doesn't need that little pump. His eyes go right back to the dig, all right? They've got the extra defender in the box, so now it's basically throwing his check down, the levels, all right? Is this a play I'd love to throw every day, get drop eight? Shit, no. This is a quarters beater, all right? But he may have to throw this in a game. He may, I may call it, and they've been playing quarters, and all of a sudden it's, it's three buzz wheat, drop eight. So he needs to know, okay, what's my answer? So as, as, as the more we can give him the answers to the test before the test, the better off we'll be. So he did a nice job of not – of just working his eyes and his feet. Oh, I don't like that little pump, all right? His eyes and his feet, all right, through the progression. There's this one piece, sit on that back foot, okay? I try to get my guys to always work and to always hitch in six-inch increments. Don't lose your base. Your hitch is six inches. It's a – a hitch is six, all right, base and six, okay, and work yourself to the backside. All right, like I said, we just keep throwing the same damn routes, getting different coverages. Okay, so now he has to know this, right? Okay. Concepts type Mercedes, the one we threw through the very first one, okay? His uh, protection, right, is uh, rib, hot flat, okay? His uh, footwork is three in a plant, okay? Actually, three quick in a plant, okay? Does he have a hot? Yes, hot, hot's the flat. Um, does he have any alerts? Has no alerts on this thing, all right? What's his narrow vision? Well, his narrow vision, when it was cover three, was the nickel Sam. Okay, well, now he's got to see this rotation, this to, to tight bunch. So now he knows my narrow vision is the corner. Okay, so basically his narrow vision guy is the flat defender, the guy who's got to cover the flat. So he knows that I'm throwing, right, that here's my narrow vision guy, all right, and I'm working one to two off of him, all right. If I don't like that, all right? If he's deep, hell, I'm throwing it back, all right? He's up, I'm throwing this. If I don't like to throw, it's pure progression. 
Now I'm starting to work my inside triangle with those three. That's a nice job by him, okay? One, two, three, plant. All right, he doesn't need that little, that little dust right in the end zone, all right? Our receiver right here, only thing I don't like he does is he straightens him up a little bit, but his job is to gain leverage on that, on that safety, right? He's got to go like another two steps because he's got to run through 10 or my throw will be late. Like this is too close for me right here. So Booby right here would just take this two more steps and get us some separation between him and the back. All right. We got all that grass to throw. So get leverage, get depth, receiver. Okay. Backs to the flat. Okay. Pretty good job. That's a nice job on the mesh. Not by the tight end, but by the X. Okay. And we got to be careful number seven, right? Watch how he's drifting in here. He's, his job is to outside release, gain two on your release, get, get through 10, stop and drop, all right? Because you may stand right here and get the football. If this guy's in the way, move to the next window. If that guy's in the way, move to the next window. If it's man, separate, okay? That's what a basic is. All right, here we go. What's the concept smash? Here we go. Protection, hot, flat, rip, footwork, one, three, quick, one, two, three. Right now, man, that ball should be out. Okay, it should be out now. Receiver's a little short. Good job by the X receiver. Okay, so you start to see how this works. If Because I know who's going to fit this. This is drop eight, right? All right, so he, do, he gets me in a nice spot. But if this guy fits him, then this basic should be standing right there, okay, because there's a window, there's grass, okay? If this guy fits this snag, now he's got to move on to the next window, which is right there, all right? That's why this is – that's why this route right here, this guy's – he's really – he's never open right here. He's drifting around, running, all right? He should stop right there, and he should actually keep moving on this, and he should be running into this window on the other side of the mic for him. This guy should keep going, burst and sit. All right. Okay, this is quick game. All right. So quick game is quick game is what we call a one side one side one side progression. In other words, you bought it, you own it. All right. If you buy this side, you own that side, okay? If you buy that side, you own that side, okay? So he's going to go off split safety, post safety, look to decide what side. So he knows on this progression, he's basically he's got a split safety look and he's got a post safety look side, all right? So here we're running a five-step glance with a hot flat, okay? That's my, that's my post safety beater side right there, okay? Just like curl flat, okay? On this side, we're running what we call like a little option route in here, all right? And we're running inside fade and a locked hitch, okay? That's my cover two beater or split safety or mini, whatever, all right? Quarters beater over there, okay? Does he have an hot on this? Yeah, hot's the, the back to the flat. Does he have an alert? Yes, he does have an alert, all right? His alert is matchup. So he could have taken that inside fade, even though it's post safety, all right? He could have alerted that, God dang, I like this guy. I'm, I, got, I like my Z receiver. This is our tight end outside. Our, this Z receiver on this strong safety pressed up on him, all right, with the whole stinking field to run to, okay? So that would be his alert. Okay, he decided he didn't like the alert, so now he decided to take his post-safety side. All right, who's his narrow vision guy? The buck. All right. He would not have been wrong throwing this ball to the back. If he had felt right here that that buck was trying to fit that glance route, right, just like on Exxon, he could bang that flat route right now to the back. Remember, this gets drop eight. 
Some windows are tight, all right? So he has to anticipate this throw. If you watch, all right, he starts his throw. Now, all right, because he's thrown this guy into this grass right there, all right? The, lo the deeper this bug gets, he ought to be thinking back to the flat. The wider he gets, the more grass. So he's just playing a two-man game into the boundary. And you can see right here the alert. If he had taken the other side, the alert right here. All right, uh, we're just going to go end zone here. Little motion. Okay, here's a shallow cross. No, this is Mazda. Okay. So this is basically our concept that, that, that marries together our mesh concept, all right, and our curl flat concept. Okay. His protection is key, swing. Okay. His footwork is three plant. All right. His progression, his narrow vision is hot. It's a protection deal, so he doesn't really have a hot. His narrow vision guy, his alert guy, right, is the Z. His narrow vision is Nickel Sam, all right? So here's what he's thinking here, right? He knows on Mazda, all right, this is running a choice. He's running a curl. He's running the shallow. He's running the swing. He's running the shout route. Let me redraw that, okay? So he's running this shout route. So this is supposed. This is this is built also to help your Lexus, your your post dig concept over here. All right. So he's running this shout route out there. Okay. He's over the ball with a choice route. He's curl. He's running the shallow right there. Okay. He's running the swing. All right. So he knows this is my alert. Okay. When do, how do I decide, coach, to throw my alert? Free access. All right, I got a corner off and inside. Okay, free access, that's where you're alert. Anytime he goes to an alert, all right, we call them A, B progressions. Okay, in other words, he's decided I'm throwing this ball to Jalen. I'm throwing this ball to the Z. All right, on this one on one throw on this corner right there. If something happens, all right, he falls down or he's covered. Or for some reason at the snap, this this backer runs out from underneath of it. He knows I'm going A to B, the shallow. So to him, it's it's just like reading Mercedes if he alerts this thing. Okay. If not, all right, he's narrow visioning. Okay. So his next thing is who's my narrow vision guy? I'm not working the alert. So who's my narrow vision is this guy. Okay, the nickel Sam. If he puts hands on this guy or tries to reroute the choice route at all on the narrow vision, throw the shallow cross right now, okay? If he releases the choice inside, so like, so like right here, if he had not, he, right here he's working the alert, okay? Same thing was the second day of practice, and you see our receivers, they got to run through full speed through 10. Not put your foot in the ground at eight because this is what happens, right? Our, the ball's going to be late, all right? So we got to do a better job there. Grant does a nice job of what we call fish tailing or fish hooking, all right? That is getting – he's fish hooking to this throw. In other words, he's getting his hips and gaining the momentum of this throw out there. Okay, that's what he wanted to throw. If he didn't like that, he would come right down to B right here. There's B. All right. If he had, if he had read, read his narrow vision, he didn't want to throw the alert. All right. He would have narrow vision. This guy, this guy's trying to reroute. Shit, get him the ball right now. Oh, five yards is great. All right. This catch should make five yards. Break tackle should make eight. Okay. If he had widened, now we got what we want. All right. Now we have the choice route right here, one-on-one -on -one with the mic. Okay, you got to win. 
If somebody squeezes it, say the wheel backer squeezes this, now he works curl flat to the backside. So it's a, it's a this is my quarterback's favorite favorite uh, concept they like to throw. All right. Because they, they can look out there and they can alert, hey, I like that throw out there. If he's not there, just throw the shallow. If they're going to work it, it really doesn't give them a lot to think about. All you got to do is narrow vision that nickel Sam. Nickel Sam widens past the F. Throw that choice route. All right? Doesn't like the choice route, work the weak side curl. Okay, a couple more, then we're going to take some Q&As. Here it is right here. Same play. Okay, now, he decided not to take the alert. Okay. So, he looked out there. And it may be because he don't like that receiver. Shit, I don't know. Maybe I don't think that guy can catch. Whatever reason. It's his call. All right. Pre-access. Alert. A. Don't like it. Shallow. B. Okay. Right here, though, Luke decided he didn't like it. <coughs> and he didn't get his back in the right spot. All right. So he's got – he didn't take the alert. He's left the – this is obviously a, a hard count play. He didn't move his back where he's supposed to move the back. All right. But he does know that's my narrow vision guy. Okay. I told him if that narrow vision guy goes past the choice, bang the choice on the Mike Backer. It's a good route by the choice right there. Okay. The F has to know this. All right. And the quarterback is that in a, on a choice – one guy cannot stop that, all right? If we throw it 10 times one-on-one, -on -one, you and the mic, we better complete nine of them because you have the choice, all right? You, your job is to get open off of a mic linebacker. Shit, if you can't do that, go play defense, all right? That's your job. If this guy was to squeeze it, so he had two guys, my quarterback knows if this is getting taken off by two guys or he falls down or whatever, all right? He knows right now I'm working the weak side curl flat. It's a good job by his footwork. One, two, three. Three plant. All right? He's looking at the, at the, at the narrow vision right there. Ball's coming out good right there. All right, so drop A stuff, right? Throw it. Okay. Is this is this is just pure Honda, right? Pure Honda. There is no alerts, bro. Right? Your re your your vision is right here on him. Okay. He's running the choice off of him. Okay. If this gets squeezed from this side then you're working the curl flat there. If it gets squeezed this way, you're working the curl flat there. Okay? So one, it's, the, it's the route we all learned in, like, third grade, right? You got to bang it on that choice right now. Okay? If it was – if he did feel this was getting squeezed, if it was this, this getting squeezed, all right, where's it getting squeezed from, Luke? What's well, getting squeezed from over here? Okay? So now you got to work this curl – flat combination okay so he should right now said up oh, and squeezed he should have hitched to throw the curl right here guys under the curl ball should have gone right there all right now this is a great example though of you start talking to your guys what we talk what we call quarterback intent right and uh actually last tuesday in our zoom meeting we pull up drew Brees, tom brady Patrick Mahomes, you pull up these, you know, guys that really are good at what they do, all right, and watch them, watch their drops and watch them, you know, throw routes versus coverage, all right? And all these guys, all these guys do one great thing is they manipulate defenses with their eyes. So as an example, uh, in fact, we saw exactly this play 
Brady throw it Tuesday, right? Is that is that he knew he, he had he was working to the curl, all right? And he he hung his eyes as long as he could in that curl. He knew he was throwing it to the back, but he kept that defender in the curl and his feet set to throw the flat to the back. All right. So we so that's what we call quarterback intent. All right. So we always talk about feet before eyes. All right. So I'm throwing this back. My feet should set to throw this back. I know I'm going there, but I want to hang my eyes in that curl as long as I can. All right. I just don't want to stare this flat route down the whole way. All right. And get him to stay in that curl. Coach, you want a, a couple more minutes and open up for questions for about 10? All right, here we go. I'll take this last one, and then we'll go. Okay. Let me get uh, a di something different we've worked on here. Let me see if I – like I said, I don't. we don't throw a lot of concepts. We try to throw – all right, here's my freshman quarterback. Okay, of course, he puts the back on the wrong side, all right? So we'll skip that one. Okay, here it is. Here's, here's, the, here's the quarterback. First of all, his drop is a little screwed up, but we'll get that fixed, okay? Here's Lexus. His concept is uh, shallow cross. His protection is key swing, not flat. It should be. All right. Um, his footwork is is got to be three quick, three plant. What we call three plant. Okay. Does he have a hot? No hot. Does he have an alert on Lexus? Yeah. He's got the post alert, or he's got the man corner alert. All right. Those are his two alerts on this play. If he was to see cover four, all right, he could alert this post to the dig to the shallow. All right. Okay, but he decided to read it out. So what's his narrow vision guy, all right? His narrow vision guy is the Mike Backer right there, okay? Does a Mike Backer fit the shallow? No, give it to him right now. Good. All right. All right. What do you All think, right, Coach? Q, Q and A's. All right. Uh, gentlemen, just go ahead and uh, I think you have an option to uh, raise hand and uh, get a question to Coach. Um, hey, but before we go, I would like to get a shout-out to Coach Hill in England. I went out and did a uh, clinic for him, and it was awesome. He was awesome. The uh, coaches out there were awesome. It was a great time, and I'm – and uh, I'm waiting next summer for me to get my invite to come back, Wayne, because I appreciate you guys and all, everything you did. Great time. All right, go ahead. Sorry. All right, let's see. Anybody got any questions? Let's see. Let's see. Louie, you know how to run this thing? <laughs> nobody's, nobody's raising their hand. All right. Three participants. Let's go. All right. We'll go. Kenny Nears, you're unmuted. Yes, sir. Um, how do you determine your alerts? Okay. By concepts, right? Uh -huh. So when I look at a concept, um, it, it's kind of like this. It's kind of like Saturday or Sunday after when you watch the game film and you go, God dang. Man, we get cover four on this concept. I'd love, I'd like to him to, to throw that post once in a while, because that post it maybe isn't his in his progression, right? Yeah. Okay, it's a backside post or it's a backside go route. Okay, so so they just say, okay, I'm just going to alert that to the quarterback. All right, first quarters on Lexus. There's a play right here. All right, this post route. All this is doing is clearing it out for the for the basic, right? He, he never thinks throw the post on shallow cross, right? But when it's cover four and these safeties are playing down low right here and this guy starts, yeah, by the book, he ought to read shallow cross, shallow basic post, all right, from the low to the high. 
But by that time, that post is out of his range. Yeah. So now we would just alert him to, uh, hey, look, it, if you get quarters, all right, they, that's, the, that's the look you can get to alert to a route that's not in your progression. If it's man, man, there's always some, there's always usually alerts in man coverage, right? Because yeah. you may have a zone route concept, all right, that's maybe not that great against man, all right, but you get man, hey, I want to alert the X. And your your alert could also be, hey, verse, hey, look at your alert on this this concept is if you get one free press man coverage, alert the X to a fade route. Gotcha. Okay. So in other words, it's something out of his normal line of thinking. Gotcha. All right. It's it's an exception Almost to the concept. Does Almost that make sense? Kenny? Almost catching them off guard. Yeah, it's almost like, oh man, I should I wanna I want to throw the damn post, or I want to, you know, I want him. To, I want him to think outside the box, outside the box of the concept on on alerts. Gotcha. So, and some plays don't even have alerts. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you, Coach. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go, uh, Jay Wilkinson. Man, you're unmuted. Let's go. Ask away. Appreciate it, Coach Mazzoni. I know that. Uh, a lot of us are starting to see all the drop eight, and so that wasn't an install versus drop eight that you showed. But what are some of your ideas you have versus these three-man front teams that are going to drop eight, and even some of the three safety stuff that we're starting to see these days? Okay, so, all right, drop eight. There's two different drop eights. If you're a quarters drop eight or you're a post safety drop eight, right, split to safety or, or post. And actually, that's a great question because uh, – we saw we saw we saw it the first four practices. Our, our defense now this now is a drop eight team. So we're actually doing a study of that. You know, if you're playing a drop eight team, what wh how do you rank your concepts on what you want to call right? So the number one the the first thing is this is all right is you got to convince your quarterback all right that you may get to the third and fourth progression and not to panic. All right, it's a three-man rush. I got five blocking free, so I should have two double teams on a guy, and then I should. Uh, um... Hey, hey, Kyle. Yes, Kyle, sir. Wait, wait your turn, will you? I'm still talking. All right. Okay. Um, um, <laughs> um, so, uh, but you're always thinking about all right. Where do I, my, my receivers have to do a good job of finding grass. My number one thought is, you know, you got to, you want, if it's a post safety drop eight, their strength is in the underneath coverage, their weakness is in the deep part of the coverage. So you're thinking of four verticals, ways I can build four verts. I'm thinking of empty stuff, all right? And then everything, then, then all my other stuff is built on guys finding windows, all right? Like, um, like, I think curl flat's good, all right? Got five out. It's guys find a winner because basically drop eight teams are spot droppers, as you can see in our defense. They're not even looking. They're just turning and running to their spots, all right? They're not matching routes. So your receivers have to do a good job. for. So to go through, like, all the different concepts, you probably have them in there, all right? Or you may want to adjust a couple you've already got in your schemes and your concepts. And what I would do now is go back – and really look at what what your schemes are. Hey, these three I love versus drop eight. Okay. Hey, this one I if I just adjust these two guys versus drop eight. All right. I got an answer for my quarterback. All right, awesome. Next Thank one. you. Uh huh. All right. Let's go. Uh, last question right here. Be from uh, Walt Dupree. Walt, Walt you're Dupree. up. Yes, sir. Thank you. Coach, if you're seeing a steady diet of, of man-free, what's one of your favorite combinations to go to? Okay, obviously you're looking for any kind of uh, – okay, so this, it, it's all that's it's down this. That's, the, that's always the age-old question, right? you got to be man, okay? Uh, obviously that's what mesh comes in for, shallow cross, those type of things. But the biggest thing is uh, most of our concepts have man beaters in them, built in them. That's why a lot of times you hear me say, verse man, alert the Z verse man, alert the X verse man, alert the corner route verse man, alert these guys, all right? Um, but the other thing you can – the other thing that you, if you're playing a big man team is, don't worry 
like you don't really necessarily – I know you got man beaters built in your concepts or you have man beater concepts, all right, but don't, don't worry about – like change the formations on the guys, right? Use some motion. Get into bunches. Get into stacks with your receivers. You know, build some – because what you're going to find out, as soon as I stack two – a man team, as soon as I stack two receivers out there, I get to dictate to, to the defense, all right, I know what, what I'm going to get. I'm not guessing. And so if you stack two receivers, say, out here, can you guys see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. So if I stack two receivers out here like this, all right, how is a man team going to play it? Are they going to press the point? and play the, number, the second guy off? Are they going to go in and out, right? So once you watch them on film, you know, every time I stack two guys, they go in and out. Oh, great, all right? Then we need to run some double inside breaking routes, right? Because that's their problem. And now I got leverage on this guy on the post, right? All right, or I need to run double outside breaking routes, okay? So now I can start to build man beaters because I know what they are. If they're pressing the point, so I know they're trying to quick jam him. No, I've got off coverage man right there on one of my receivers. Okay. So same thing in bunch. If they're in bunch, if they're sitting in bunch, are they pressing the point going in and out? What do you can, you can, and that's what we do in our RPO game. Cause that's always a bitch, right? You, you, you call RPOs and they, and the conflict guy tells you to pull the ball and you got your double, you got double slant call to, to an, for an RPO and they're pressing both my double slants inside leverage. All right. Well, shoot against these guys, I'm going to stack them or I'm going to run RPOs with a, with a bunch out there or, or with a motion or something. So I just can't let those guys line up across the board on me and press all my guys. All right. I got them to get out. I got to make them feel uncomfortable. Yep. Thanks coach. You bet. All right, guys. Hey, I appreciate it. Is that good, Louie? That's good, Coach. Yeah. Appreciate you. All right. Hey, I appreciate it, guys. You guys all be safe out there. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you. Hey, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna take a we're gonna take a minute here, and uh, 